This is question number nine. It says the diagram shows a pattern using four identical rhombuses. We're asked to work out the size of the angle marked A. It says you must show your working and the question is worth four marks. So here's the angle A. I've got 25, 25, 25 and 25 and these are identical rhombuses. There are a few different approaches that we could take. What I'm going to do is find this angle just here and call this B. If this one is B, this one is also B, and this one is going to be A. So, one way we could do this now is to take that angles around a point equal 360. So what we can say then is that B will be equal to 360, and just writing this down, 360 minus 4 lots of 25 divided by 4. So all I've done is said, if we take the 25s away from 360 and divide by 4, that will give me these angles B. So from this, we can see that B is going to be 260 divided by 4, and that gives us now that B will be equal to 65. If this is going to be equal to 65, this one will as well. So what we have then is A and A left. Angles in a quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees. So what we can say then is the following. If I add these two and subtract it from 360, that will leave us these two angles. So what I can say then is that A will be equal to 360 degrees minus now the 2 lots of 65, which is going to be 130, divided by 2. So we have A will be equal to 230 divided by 2 which gives us A is equal to 115 degrees. Lots of different approaches to that, either way around, four marks. An alternative would be to show that this whole angle right here is 90, entirely up to if you want to split the 360 into four and work from there. There'll be lots of different approaches. Whichever way you go, you should get 115 degrees for A.